Hey guys, so Moon Viewer here. Um, I just watched, I'm going to butcher this guy's name. Camison Rogue. K-I-M-S-O-N-R-O-U-G-E. And I just watched him talk about Midnight Sun. Saying that, he said something that, um... What Stephanie Meyer said she was going to write other characters in her books. Now, I loved Twilight Saga. It was part of my teen years. That being said, I am team vampire. I'm not team wolf. So, no offense to the real Quillute tribe and... The actors that did play the wolves, they are probably good people, and who knows, they might be good actors with good scripts, but from the moment I read Twilight and I read it backwards, I'll admit that, I've been Team Vampire. I'm not sorry about that, but if she does... Renesme, I would read it. And what I'd like to see, besides the rest of, you know, New Moon and Eclipse, Breaking Dawn from Edward's point of view, I'd love to see the rest of the Cullens and the Valtteri King's point of views from the beginning. I'd like to see Aro, Caius, and Marcus how they came up with the laws, why they came up with the laws. I mean, besides the fact that a baby or a small child cannot protect the secrecy of vampirism in the Twilight universe. I just want to know why. Because, I mean, it's a good book if you like torture. And it's good movies if you don't watch them and take them seriously. It's this satire it's kind of how I see Fifty Shades of Grey and I love those books and those movies but I see them as satire just fan fiction satire just something to laugh at something to mock something to just put on when you're bored and you just want noise in the background same for the books and I and I have Anastasia's and Christian's books by E.L. James. I will own every single book from the Cullen's point of view. I have no shame in saying that. I became a fan from the first Twilight movie in 2008. And here I am today making this, making this video. I'm rambling. But that's my two cents worth. Talk to y'all later. Same movie you were out. I'll link the person below.